not. And let's see, what are we working with here today? A baby abomination room, shouldn't be too much trouble whatsoever. And Young Poisoner's Handbook. Eh, definitely not what I was aiming for at the moment here, but not the end of the world. Death Yaks is pretty rough. Though Apocalypse Crab is definitely not much better. We get Ice Form and Hailstorm and Simulacrum. So definitely ice themed. Not the spells I was looking for here. Artifact Ring as well. So it's looking like we're going south side here. Might be a little bit on the, the rough side. We'll have to see how everything goes, but I think we can take this. I don't think it will be the end of the world. So without further ado, I guess let's just get ready to hop into it. I mean, I don't need a degeneration potion, so I guess we can start off here since all roads lead to the, the same gauntlet options after all. Beautiful. Bit of extra cash in our pockets. I guess this next one is also a, a mix and match. Do I want that Young Poisoner's Handbook? I mean, another Curing Potion never hurts either. Let's let's try it out. Nothing too uh, critical or crucial in either of these kind of middle chambers, so I don't feel too bad about just winging it there, rolling the dice and seeing what happens. And then you, my friend, 52 health, 1d12 for the Chaos Breath. I mean, it's, I think it's doable. Box of Beasts, I would like to save for the, the future here. So we'll see what kind of chaos effects we get from the, the breath here. I mean, if we'd just gone hasted and mited out of the blue, it would have been pretty nice, but I guess nothing negative happening also can't complain about exactly. That is beautiful. MP plus nine and evasion. I mean, MP, oops, is just health with the spirit amulet. So we'll pop that bad boy on for some extra defensive capability across the board there. Love to see it. Some ice magic that thematically we maybe should learn. I guess hailstorm isn't too bad regardless here. Easy to learn, pretty cheap. Definitely not the end of the world. Don't let's learn it just for funsies. Why the heck not? And time to make new friends. Why hello there. Start with the beast. Plus nine art list. Okay, I'm stepping next to you right away. Please stop using that, you son of a gun. <laughs> Holy moly. Hellstorm lets us hit at three to four range, which is nice. <laughs> I see what you did there, love it. And you're not wrong. Definitely don't mind that whatsoever. I will be taking this arb list, by the way. Don't know if we'll use it, but holy moly. Plus nine with heavy, which is why it hits like a freaking truck. 50 damage rating, double willpower, and resist poison. I mean, it's a pretty fantastic piece of kit there. And Staff of Poison, no thank you. I don't currently have gloves, so I would like that. Um, we picked up a Wand of Light, which I don't really want to throw away. What else do we get here? Tin of Tremorstone, Wand of Life, Staff of Poison. And it's a bit too early for me to drop all my Flame Wand charges. If we find ourselves in Trolls or Swamp, it can be nice to have that available, or at least have it in our back pocket. Two protection from cold is maybe a little overkill. So we'll swap that out for now. Holy moly. Well, right back into the thick of it, I guess. Pretty fantastic run through the, the gauntlet there. No real issues to speak of. Do get marked, but that's not the end of the world when we're already making this much noise. In fact, I don't see it as being too, too uh, different from what we were already experiencing. And if everyone wants to go through the Cataplebus clouds and get paralyzed, I mean, who am I to, uh, to say nay? Who am I to stop you, really? It would be rude not to. So that is perfect as we take care of a nice selection of enemies. It does look like we have spider, so no snake. 
Um, Spider's still not too, too bad, especially since the Quasal Clouds should take care of the majority of our problems, I feel. Oof. Don't love this setup for sure. But we do make it through. Again, just being surrounded by trees is not great. Triple crossbow at all. Or as well, rather. Definitely seems like the game is trying to tell us something. Definitely is trying to get us to lean a little bit more towards the, uh, the range side of things. And it is tempting. It always is just a wee bit tempting, but... For the moment here, we're not going to worry too, too much about it. Let's just keep on keeping on. As we're immune to the, the Cataplebis clouds, so we can potentially just back ourselves into a bit of a corner here. I guess might live to regret this, or not live to regret this, but fortunately does not end up being the case there. And we make it out in one piece, being able to take care of all these sons of guns. It is already layer four. Oh, right, I didn't pick up any of my any of my stuff after making it through the gauntlet. Oh, jeez, inventory's gonna get real full real fast. Um... <laughs> no sneaky remains of uh, the gauntlet entrance here. Was it one floor up? My brain wants it to be in the, the left, but I don't think there's any actual evidence to support that. In fact, all I know is that it's right by a stairwell. There we go. Empty Arch of Ancient Stone. So if I ever need to search for that in the future, those are the, the magic words here. Does not contain gauntlet once it's been shut down. But yes, crossbow will hit the ground for now, though it has my consideration. If anything, we might come back for that one. Uh, vulnerability scrolls, on the other hand, meh. Don't really care too much about. Also, didn't realize we were taking a trapdoor directly to the unexplored floor, so whoopsie daisies, but definitely nothing we can't handle so far here, so not a huge deal. Quasal giving us some protection from physical attacks is lovely as well, bringing us up to a total of 26 AC with all of our various updates. In fact, is Quasal even just a better option than I originally suspected? <laughs> Didn't think about that synergy coming into things, but do love to see it. Uh, right. And unfortunately, the frozen ramparts don't do great in deep water either. Definitely should keep that in mind if at all possible. So we hear trumpeting from all over the place. Hello, my elephant friends. Welcome to the herd. I want a bit more fighting training, a bit more health. Doesn't hurt. Again, it's hard for me to designate skill points at the moment here because we're kind of just breezing through without a care in the world. Normally, I feel like we're a lot more reactive at this stage in the game. So being proactive, something I'm just never familiar with. Hmm. More invo, more evo. I guess more invo doesn't hurt. Can bring that up to, to 12 as well. Become the, the storm caller here that we always dream to be. And that is pretty much already going to finish off down to layer 4. Holy moly. I mean, I went so smoothly that I'm tempted to just keep the train a roll in here. Head down to layer 5, see what we're working with. Quite a few of the setups we should be absolutely fine against. You know, if it's a, a devil forest full of interesting friends from alternative planes, then maybe not so much, but if it's like a cattle plebis floor, Death the Axe and Caddos all seems to uh, fall under the purview of manageable. As we once again just attract everyone and everything on the floor. Hello, my new friends. I guess Komodo should have probably died quite a bit earlier. You know what, maybe Tyrant Leech is actually a little rougher than I was giving them credit for. Hmm. Do I just start blasting with Disaster Area? We've actually put ourselves into a bit of a, a nasty spot here. 
which they hate to admit it. I guess we could fear. Don't know if it works on you, so we'd still be in risk mode, but at least everything else backs off because these 26 hurt as well. Only 24% chance to hit us, only 35% chance to hit us. Yikes. Um, hmm. Another option is to just bring in elemental forces. Does mean that we have to survive a turn here, but then I can just kind of swap places with my elementals and put them into the front line. Well, let's go with fear. It does work on the, the tyrant leech as well, so we can just play this completely safe. Never learn from uh, the consequences of our actions, which I just love. Always a big fan. But then we can just bring back Ozakuba's armor and reset against all of our uh, our new friends that are being drawn to the noise and commotion that we create. Well, my Weaver and Buddy. And there we go. Seems to have settled into steady state again here. Sky Shark definitely could have posed a bit more of a problem than the ended up being for us there, so I'm not gonna be too upset about how everything rolled out there. That is fantastic. And not too shabby. Again, the entrances will always be the, the worst part of any floor. Always gonna be a bit of a, an adventure to say the least, but as long as we can make it through that, then we, we get our foothold and we're most likely able to transition it into something a little more uh, sustainable moving forward. Oh wow, look at all of that. Phantom Mira, definitely like Gloves of Dexterity is fantastic. Makes me regret not potentially going a bit more into the deck side. I mean, it's not too late. We could still find ourselves with some pretty fantastic uh, swords as we continue forward. Oh, and look at that. There's the visibility we were entertaining the idea of earlier. Got troll leather armor, and what else can I drop? I don't really want to drop anything else. I guess this protection from cold while we have the amulet isn't super necessary. That always feels like one of the things that you're going to, uh, or that I'm going to learn to regret, but hey, maybe it, it's fine this time. We'll leave those bad boys behind and continue forward. We do have all of the relevant rechargeable evocables on board now, so I do think that we'll start leaning a little heavier into that training and just make sure that we're getting good results whenever we use those bad boys. I guess Condenser Vein is still in the works here. Still hoping for that to show up sooner rather than later, but still cannot uh, be too upset about everything we're seeing here now. In fact, let's throw evocations back on, shall we? Gotta ID some crap pots and scrolls, just have something pitch into the bin, right? I mean, I'm sure there's tons of garbage that we're lugging around at the moment, but unfortunately, just can't seem to find it. Heal wounds potions, come on. I need trash, not this good stuff. Though, to be honest, the good stuff also greatly appreciated, DCSS. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Polymorph Wand can probably go for digging. I do like having digging available just as a, a bit of a backup option for us here. And yeah, holy moly, that is pretty much all of Lair sorted out here. So we have Swamp and Spider's Nest as our S branches. We'll probably, I mean, right away here, we'll probably actually head up to regular dungeon, clear down to 15 or, you know, as far down as we feel safe to do so. Maybe even hop into Orc before we transition over to S. It's funny how things have changed there. I used to be super committed to the idea of going S branches immediately and then having the nice vacation of clearing the rest of dungeon. But now I definitely lean a little bit towards the, the safer side. Apparently more intelligent players did rub off on me ever so slightly as I continued playing the game further and further. Ooh. What are you, my invisible friend? 
You're not... Are you dancing? It doesn't seem like our invisible friend is dancing. But I could be wrong. Ah, they're not attacking me, so they seem to have left the vicinity. So we get... Wow, even more cold resistance rings. Would you look at that? Definitely a bit of a, a thematic run going on here. And yeah, I agree. Safe, but definitely we'll be heading into Orc 2 here. As soon as we finish off the regularly scheduled dungeon. And hopefully the poison pretty much takes care of you, my friend. Beautiful. Ah, now this is an unseen horror. And in fact, we should probably pop in here. Feel a bit more experienced. Beautiful. Ooh. And hello, my gargoyle friend. Um, are you going to keep just dancing in and out of sight range? No, there we go. They do eventually decide to, to face the music, as it were. Unfortunately, it was not their day. It's not their solo to, uh, to enjoy, but that is fine. And look at that. An elemental showing us what's to come from our side in the future. As well as, holy moly, tons of digging wand charges. So we definitely could find ourselves using those in the future. Amnesia um, scrolls can definitely hit the dirt for now. Seeing as how we don't even have enough desirable spells to make that even remotely necessary. But we'll see how things progress and how things change over the next little while here. Hello, my acid friend. So we're currently getting poison resistance, which I do like. It's tempting to swap over just for additional AC here. Corrosion resistance doesn't hurt either. It's always nice to have, even if it's not super common to come across early on in the dungeon. Man, oh man, I need garbage. Normally we don't get the, the all of the good rechargeable evocables by this stage of the game, so you know, have a bit more wiggle room until we at least get all the trash ID'd, but not so much today, unfortunately. Which, you know, I say unfortunately, but again, is a good problem to have, and I probably shouldn't be complaining whatsoever. Oh no, I have too much good stuff. What the heck? It's just not fair. Why me? Why me? But hey. I will gladly take that, and for Centaur Warrior, not too big of an issue here either today, so that's beautiful. And more ID, don't mind if I do. Finally getting our scrolls of blinking, there we go. Long time coming on that bad boy. Oh, the return of the Titanic Slime. I'm not one hit away from death. Now, technically, could happen, but very unlikely, right? 28 AC, 90 health. Hmm. Especially since, as was pointed out to us after last time's stream, us fighting the Titanic Slimes, probably not the best move, but the only time we almost got lethally destroyed by one of these sons of guns is actually when we were walking away from the fight. So if you think about it, if we had just committed, we would have found ourselves in this situation, which is not better. <laughs> oh, me oh my. Okay, completely unnecessary use of our, our blinking here, but sometimes you just have to roll the dice and see what happens and not the end of the world. I'm sure we'll have so many spare on that front, right? No way does this go uh, horribly wrong for us in the future where we're desperately hoping and wishing that we had just one little scroll of blinking. That doesn't sound like a, a possibility that we should even bother to entertain and instead let's just keep living our life in blissful ignorance, heading straight for the hills here. Oh, okay, we are definitely getting a nice selection of ID. I mean, Potion of Attraction, we could probably trash. I don't know. Does this join the the annals of runs where I tell myself that I'll make use of this niche interaction? I'll definitely use Attraction and not get myself almost killed doing it. Only to... uh 
completely reveal the untruth in that statement at some point down the road? Maybe. Maybe. Well, I guess I have to see what comes forth as we continue forward, but this level becomes a pretty critical decision point for us. Do we keep dumping into intelligence, still hinging on the, the bet that we will eventually get better spells shown our way, or start dumping into strength? I guess with bad armor aptitudes, really good dodging aptitudes, and fantastic dexterity, maybe we do just go intelligence? We'll probably be in light armor the majority of the run, if not the entirety of it. Definitely helps to lean a little bit more into the hybrid style, which I am hoping for still. So we'll do that. There's still a few more levels where we'll get to uh, throw those points around. So for the time being, I like that. Okay, we do have two pips of cold for our dragon friend here. Hello there. Um, definitely not exactly what I was expecting to come across at this very moment, but hey, we do manage to make it through in one piece. That's beautiful. Again, no idea if that was a fight that we had any right taking, or uh, it was at all an intelligent maneuver or endeavor, but it did work out. So I can't complain too, too much at the end of the day.